a bit different but at the end it's, it's almost the same you know uh, even when you're playing on a huge festival like Sonar for 12,000 people or uh, in a small club like uh, Momar in Cadiz for 200 you know at the end it's question of the mood you know like uh, I love to play every kind of uh, uh, underground electronic music at the end I never prepare my, my DJ sets but uh, I know perfectly all the music I have on my uh, on my laptop uh, so that's the most important for me to know every single track. So as soon I'm playing, I'm thinking about the next track I want to play for these people or what kind of music they want, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I think really, really they did it, you know, it's uh, when you're looking at the lineup, it's a kind of, of course, the, the sonar nighttime, it's uh, more focused on main top artists, but uh, also the daytime, you know, the sonar day is amazing, you know, it's full of everything or, or workshops and some demos and uh, a lot of experimental artists and everything surrounding the, the electronic music scene so and of course they are amazing you know they are super professionals everything is perfect in every single moment from uh, from science you receive the, the the request to play there with them till the end when you have finished the show and you go home everything is perfect no fails so it's super easy and you are feeling super comfortable with them also also so the artists and the team <laughs> to say it was crazy for me you know everything changed so from the first time Luciano played the Palene I think the, it was the, the, the first video we post on, on socials everything was crazy you know everybody was asking me the name of the track the release date and the released the release was the nine months after the first time he played the track. So it was crazy. I received thousands of emails asking about the, the release, both tracks, Palenia and, and Kokoa. And uh, some uh, people was super angry with me because it was like, wow, why? You are not releasing the track why you didn't have the release date like hey guys so i did the tracks i composed the tracks i produced the i, I did the production but uh, they decided you know but everything changed in my career you know so that's the most important for me it's not about uh, to play 100 or 30 or 120 gigs per year or play more than the other DJs or something like that or something like, you know it's, a, it's about it's about the love of the music you know they you are you are sharing your your experience with the music and the people can understand or, or, or they can know how how are you feeling in every single moment with your music so that's the most important the connection uh, between the clubbers the music lovers and the artists so that's amazing <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.